Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about IP da the IP datagram family, format and IP fragmentation and reassembly. So the IP datagram format looks like this. Here, the first field is the version, which talks about the IP protocol version, which is IPv4 or IPv6 if it's being used. Then we have a field called the header length, which tells the length of the header in bytes. Then it's a kind of type of data that you're sending. This field is not generally used. Then there is something called the time to live, which is in the maximum number of remaining hops. So, so if you don't, if you set the at the source, if you set the IP, uh, the time to live to be 30, it means that if the destination is not reached within 30 hops, this IP datagram is going to be discarded. Then there is this field called upper layer, which is indicative of the upper layer protocol that's being used. Then there is this length, which is the total length of this datagram in bytes. It's the total length of the datagram in bytes. And we will talk about this length field and the other two fields of flags and fragment offset in the in the next two slides as well. These are, these are going to be used when there are when packet IP fragmentation and reassembly takes place. Apart from that, there's an additional options field where you could record a bunch of additional information. The other three uh, uh, header fields that, <coughs> uh, that are left are the IP source address, where, you, where the, the source address, the source which generates this uh, IP, IP pair datagram puts its address. The destination address uh, indicates the address to which this datagram has to be delivered. And there's the uh, header checksum to make, to detect uh, errors. Overall, there all these all this header information is actually overhead they are not useful information for the destination so how much of this header is how much overhead is there actually there are 20 bytes for tcp and 20 bytes for ip so roughly 40 bytes plus there is the application layer over overhead so roughly i would say somewhere between 40 to 60, <coughs> 40 bytes is the is the overhead for sending an ip uh, datagram packet now, the issue with sending an IP datagram is that you know that IP is in the network layer. There's another layer beneath the network layer called the link layer. Now, link layers have something called MTUs or the maximum transfer size. That's the maximum possible link layer <coughs> frame size. Now, IP datagrams can be larger than the, than the MTU or the largest possible link layer frame that can be sent. And link layer technologies can vary across networks. So what happens when a large IP datagram uh, uh, arrives in a particular local network where it is which is much larger than the MTU? What happens is that it gets fragmented. So here, this router could send the entire IP datagram to this router. Now it's crossing over to another network. What happens is maybe it's just too large, larger than the MTU <coughs> that is used for this link layer protocol. In that, it is just divided into three smaller datagrams. These three smaller datagrams are then going to traverse the entire network and then they are going to be reassembled at the receiver. Note that the fragmentation up occurs, it can occur in the middle of the network. Reassembly does not occur in the middle of the network. Reassembly only takes place at the final destination. And to enable this kind of reassembly and uh, to take place, we have, we will be using some of the header fields. Okay, so let's look at this IP fragmentation and uh, assembly. So this is an IP, uh, IP datagram. The length is 400 bytes and let's say the ID is X. That's basically, it just tells what is the number of the uh, of this, what is the ID of this IP uh, datagram. Initially, the fragment flag and the offset are both set to zero. And it now encounters a, a link, <coughs> a network whose link layer pro, uh, protocol has an MTU of 1,500 bytes. So the link layer frame can only cannot exceed more than 1,500 bytes. So what? So what's going to happen? Happens is this large datagram is divided into the smaller uh, datagrams. The first one has 1,500 is of 1,500 length. The ID is X. It just says that this this fragment belongs to an IP datagram of ID X. This ID X is going to be used to collect all the datagrams and put them together. Then a fragment flag of one is set and there's an offset of zero. Okay. 
So there are 140, 1480 bytes in the data field because remember that there are 20 bytes in the header and the fragment flyer is set to 1. Next, there is an offset that is for the next uh, datagram that is sent out or this next fragment of this datagram, the IP offset is 185. It just says that it measures in the, it is an indication of the number of bytes that, that have already been sent out. Okay, so the, basically this 1500, the length of this data gram is 1500 with 1480 bytes in the data field. This, this is basically the offset. It just says that this is the first one and this is the second one. The frag, frag flag is also again set to 1. Oops. So I'm sorry about that. In this next mm, <coughs> segment, the, then the third datagram that is sent, the frag flagman is set to 0. What it says, what it mm, uh, says is that this is a last fragment. So in this way, in this uh, uh, of this datagram. So in this way, when the receiver receives all these three data uh, fragments, it can just assimilate all of them using this offset. And when it sees that the frag fragment is zero, it realizes this is the last fragment of this particular IP datagram that was divided and can reassemble it. And with this, I'll end this video. Thank you.